PlayStation VR is almost upon us, Phil Fish. It's true. That's what I've heard. That's the word on the street. Mm -hmm. I can't uh, verify that firsthand, but I think Jeff Gerstmann is around here somewhere. He might have something to say. Where's about? Jeff? I bring news oh from my the God. future. Whew. How, how's it going, Jeff? We've all gone virtual. <laughs> What's it like in there? It's neon. <laughs> what color? What kind of neon? All of colors. Yeah. It's glorious. What you got going on in there? It's destroying lives. <laughs> it's Phil Super Fish. Hypercube. Phil Fish has brought Super Hi. Hypercube around. How's it going, man? It's going good. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, you and some friends are making a PlayStation VR game. That's right. Me and, uh, me and Kokoromi, uh, which is a kind of collective that I've been part of for quite some time now, we're actually turning 10 this year. Nice. Um, this is a game we started making something like eight yeah, years ago. Yeah, I was going to say, this game is also almost This game has some history, old. yeah. It started out as cool. a, a Wiimote hack, uh -huh. like a head tracking where yeah. we had LEDs on 3D glasses and a Wemo looking at us to do kind of a hologram effect. I, I remember those YouTube videos. Yeah, that's, and that's eight years cool. later, here we are. Uh, <laughs> jump, finally ready for jump, PSVR. Jump technologies a couple times. Yeah. Technology finally caught up to there us. There you go, yes, that's the, yes, your vision. Now was, we're, we're the vision was there. delivering <laughs> the, the future of entertainment. And then the platform came along with, for the ride. Uh, we have played this game for the last couple years, I guess? You yeah, guys, we've been showing, showing it, off? like, I think we've, we've done two E3s now. Yeah, I was super impressed with this the first time uh, I played it. It's and come a long way. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of... But also, not really. Yeah? It hasn't I mean, changed that much. Yeah, I mean, the, the core concept is pretty simple, I yes. guess, for... People who haven't seen it before. Uh, Jeff, what, what, do you want to walk us through what you got going on in here? I, I am taking the shape that's right in front of me, and I am making sure it fits through the holes at the end of this passage. So I need to kind of look around the shape. Yeah. And then when I got it, I think I got it locked in, I'm going to hit X and boost and go. Uh, and then one more piece gets added to my thing here, making it thus more difficult. It's like those Japanese TV shows where they got to like Tetris their way through the holes in the wall that are coming at them, but with blocks and VR. Yeah, that's what dudes. I've been describing it to people. I'm like, it's like Jeff, it's like human Tetris. And yes. then people look at me weird because they don't know what human Tetris yeah. is. Uh, I think human Tetris is a more apt comparison than Tetris. Because people, people use Tetris as a shorthand sure. for blocks, sure. right? Yeah. Um, but no, this is like those Fisher Prize toys, but for adults. Oh, so, where you're kind of like pushing the Yeah, just like to match the shape in the, in the hole. Square peg, round hole. Exactly. Okay, yeah. The video game. So, my memory of this, I, I don't know if people can tell from watching it on a 2D screen, but like, it seemed like you're intentionally obscuring the hole. That's like, the whole point, Like, yeah. you kind of, you don't want people to like you. In, in, your default, like this, in your default position, the cluster is right in front right, of your face. Right. And it, at first, it's just one cube, and it blocks only a small part right, of the not, screen. There's no, there's no hole here. Oh, oh what are you going to do? Oh, no. Uh, smash. Smash. I, oh, man. Oh. You broke it through. Okay, well, now I just realized that we're playing the demo version of the game and not the full one. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> yeah, that's how the demo ends. That's all you got? Oops. Hmm. It says over here, buy the push Yeah, you should buy the game, game, Jeff. Why aren't you buying it? All right. Go ahead, go I can ahead sign into PlayStation um, Network. Mm, I, can, I can get in there and unlock it if, uh, if we can get into settings. Okay, uh, settings like of the console? Of the console, yeah. Okay. Go, yeah. go in uh, debug I, I think settings. we're not supposed to show yeah. those no, settings on the stream. Show but show some of the stuff on this debug. But yeah. Are uh, we... Uh, we're good. So I guess this is the part where I... Ask you a bunch of big picture philosophical questions. Except What's I, I, it like I don't working in VR? Do this, so someone's um, going to need to tell me it's how to. In oh my god, I think PlayStation Network, I think. And then uh, require purchase license is off. Yeah, it's already off. Mm. That's a, no, it's another thing. What is it? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a game developer. <laughs> I'm a professional game developer. <laughs> Upgradable app. Debug? Uh, no, it's a license thing. It's, it'll say like trial or full. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> no worries. Oh. We're back. Hey. We made it. We've trekked across the desert we and found the, the game. The full version of Super Hypercube. Hooray. Uh, Jeff, play the full game. Okay. Let's see it. I, 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 what, I'm not trying to blow smoke here, but I freaking love the look of this game. Well, thank you. It's just, it's so neon. The, it's the, so retro. The idea behind it, it was like, right there. it's, well, yeah. Um, what if VR was a thing in the 70s or okay, 80s? Yeah, sure. But, but it's like, 
What if VR was in a bowling alley? But also, what if, yeah, what if VR was analog? Yeah. What yeah. if VR was made out of neon and incandescent, yes. like, wire and metal? An aesthetic metal. Where, yes. An aesthetic that actually requires chromatic aberration yes. as opposed to, like, shoehorning well, it into every other We game. actually don't have any chromatic oh, aberration no. in there. Because I think that's getting played out a little bit. You guys, you guys have some restraint. Um, some restraint, not on the bloom or glowy or... Uh, but yeah, like you were saying before, like the first time I played this, I thought like, you know, this this plays to VR strengths in the sense that you have to move around yeah. to actually play it. Because if it, you just sit, sit like rigidly still, oh, shit. you're not going to be able to see that hole. You can do it. Almost. There you go. <sighs> nice. So are you at a point, having been involved with this project for so long, where you immediately know? Like you just your spatial awareness is so the, built up. That... The the first level is uh, is a lot slower than the others. Okay. The first level I can I can do pretty quickly. But then the shapes get a little bit more complex and it's it's harder to tell from a distance. Are these are these shapes fixed or is it random? No, everything is completely randomized okay. and uh, by default it adds one cube per wall. Mm. But then there's also bonus cubes that you can get if you solve it quickly or if you solve it mm. optimally. So you could get up to three or four cubes per wall if you play really well. Ah, and so the better you play. Oh the harder it gets faster. Mm -hmm. And so here when you don't fit, the cubes that don't match the hole just kind of get pushed off. Right. And the scoring works by counting the number of cubes you have when you clear a wall, and those become points. Okay. Oh, so good. if you have 10 cubes, you're gonna get 10 points. So you want to have as many cubes as possible to have like the highest possible score every wall. When you talk about uh, when you talk about solving uh, optimally, what defines efficiency? Is it number of spins, number, number of, of spin? Yeah, how how many moves away you are? So the fewest number. Yeah. Of turns so if you, you if you score. just really size up the cluster yeah. and you do the single rotation that it needs yeah. without just kind of messing with it. Yeah. That will get you a bonus. Cube. Is that built into every subsequent wave that there is a like shortcut to it as opposed to flipping it? There's there's always an optimal really? way of okay, doing that's it. That's cool. The the later ah, you are in oh, the game, oh. the more moves <laughs> removed you are from the solution. Yeah. Okay. How you feeling? Pretty good, yeah. except for the part where I lost. But yeah. It's. But you made it to level such two. There's a style in here. Yeah. You know, as it's whooshing by you and stuff, yeah. the, it's really taking advantage of the 3D stuff. and It looks cool out here, but yeah, like I really want to play that thing after this video. Yeah, over, this is so cool. When you play this with 3D. headphones, it yeah. really feels like you're you're in a womb almost. Yeah. The, the, the sound is 3D, it's yeah. positional, so when you move around this space, like the, the neons have a buzz. Mm. If you get closer, then the buzz gets louder. Like fluorescent light bulb kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, basically. Wow. It's been really interesting. Like the game doesn't have much of a soundtrack. It's mm -hmm. kind of all just ambient sounds. Like the different shape in the world make a sound, and as they pass by, you hear the sound, and that's kind of what makes the music. But just the fact that all those sounds are positional makes it really interesting. The cubes, uh, they sing. They all have kind of a. Um, they tones. behave kind of like a tracker, actually. Yeah, the cubes okay. all play a note one after the other, and you can hear them when you rotate the cluster. The okay. sound getting further away from you and behind. VR sound is, is something else. Okay. So how does this uh, escalate? Like you said, he made it to level two a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, so like, every it... 10 walls, you get a boss wall. Okay. The boss wall is gonna do something. It's gonna move, it's gonna be tricky in some way. Then when you get to no, level no. two, your basic wall is gonna be worth two cubes every okay. time. Level three, you get three cubes. So it ramps up like that every level. At some point, you get like 50 cubes every wall. Wow. If you play it well. Is, is it in, endless? Is there any way to like beat the game or does it just go? There's, there's a kill screen. <laughs> nice. There's, it is finite. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, n nobody alive has ever made it there. Okay. I kind of hope nobody ever does. Yeah. It gets pretty hard by uh, so you nobody alive, did someone get there and then you just kind of <laughs> took care of them or? Oh, so the, so well, this is the boss? This is a boss wall, there okay, you go. Yeah, this yeah, one rotating. did a rotation yeah. and you have to time it with your quick drop. I mean, you know what it means that you've said on record that you hope nobody ever beats the game. Somebody's gonna do Somebody it. Somebody will commit themselves. But I, I hope that it happens like 20 years from now and yeah. they make a documentary about it or something. <laughs> like that Nibbler documentary. Did yeah, you know right. no. <laughs> it's really good. So then each level will have kind of like a different visual motif out yeah, there. Yeah, there's a, there's a geometric progression where the first level was made out of points, the second level is made out of lines, the third level is triangle, the fourth level is squares. Oh wow, okay. So visually oh, you can tell which level oh, no. you're in just by the number of sides the shape has. Yeah. 
Jeff, you have, you have to get to level three now. I want to see the next oh, aesthetic. Man. Oh, that curve looks cool. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that's not it. Okay, I Ooh. should have told you before. You see that square button that was flashing in the top of the HUD? Yeah. So you've Hyper got- focus. Yeah, you've got two powers. You've got hyper focus and smash. The, the little icon, every time you quick drop, or boost, it's boost. The official term is boost. Mm -hmm. We call it quick drop because Tetris, but you're not dropping, you're moving forward. So it can't be a quick mm -hmm. drop. Anyway, <laughs> when you boost, it fills that power. Yeah. Okay. When it's full, okay. you hit the button. Hyper focus is bullet time. Again, can't call it bullet time, no bullets. Sure. Call it hyper focus. And uh, smash you only get if you fill out completely the second meter. It's like a Street Fighter meter. Mm -hmm. oh, and these are the meters up here at the top, the little Yeah, star the little the... square. Well, that's okay. just an icon there, but, oh, but, but they look that's like that. They, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, and smash lets you just destroy a wall. Okay. So if you feel like you're about to mess up a wall, you can hyper focus by yourself a few seconds and get it right, but you still have to get it right. Okay. And that's the first one you get. And then the second power you get, you don't have to worry about it, it just smashes the wall. Like you saw at the end of the demo. So the ballsier you are about boosting, the faster you get. Yeah, the, the earlier you boost, the more, the quicker you get your powers, but then the more dangerous it is, because if you boost really early, the wall is tiny at that point, sure. and you might not have the right uh, orientation. It's very simple risk reward all the way. Up, up one. Nope, you had it. There it is, yep. Are you using the bumpers? Uh, I am. Yeah. So it's, sometimes it's hard to remember like which, like to, to use all of the stuff, right? Also, you have lives. You start out with one. You can earn more at different uh, score plateaus. 1,000 points and 10,000, I think. How's it been working on this thing? I mean, that's the, that's the obvious question, I guess. Yeah, it's, like. it's been real interesting, because we started as, as soon as VR started becoming a thing. Like, yeah. the Oculus DK1, I immediately thought of like, oh, well, we need to finish this game for VR now, because it's, it really is a no-brainer. But the DK1 didn't have head tracking. DK1 only had the tilt, right? and our game is all about head tracking. So we had it working in there, but kind of not. Mm. Uh, and again, we had to wait for the technology to catch up with us. So such is your vision. Yeah, I'm just way too oh, far man. ahead. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, shit. No. oh no! Wow, that's devious. That's intense. Well, you survived. Yeah. Uh, where does it show your lives? Sorry. Well, he just lost oh, it, so, he so now there's right no right hearts. Now. Okay. now you will die if you hit a wall. Uh, but yeah, we got in touch wait with Sony really early on. Because like, hey, we want to make this VR thing, and we're missing the head tracking. And uh, we got, we were one of the first teams to get a dev kit for this thing. And we've been working on PSVR for three years. Wow. Um, it's, been, it's been interesting. Oh, we've been that was all the way wrong. Kind of <clears throat> guinea pigs for mm -hmm. a lot of things. Yeah. But it's, it's so interesting. Like as a game developer, you have to rethink and relearn so many different things that you used to take for granted. Like anything in a, in a flat video game mm -hmm. where you have a HUD that's an overlay, you can't do overlay really in VR. Right. Like it has to be somewhere in the space. Right. It, has to, it has to be physically yeah. And then it's like, okay, yeah. you, you need a HUD in space. Is yeah. the HUD affixed to your head? Does it follow your gaze or yeah. can you look away from it? Does it move with you or is it fixed in space? Yeah, How like far the, away is it? Is it really far and really big or is right. it really small and really close? Like the, the VR Bible has not been written yet. No, right? we're, we're writing like it right now. Passage by passage. Yeah, as it out. we're making it up as we go. Yeah. That's be, true for be, most video games well, in yeah, general. But doubly but, so here. Right? Yeah, this that, is, must be, that must be exciting. It's super exciting. It, can, it, it renewed my, my interest in, in game development, wow. to, be, to be honest. <laughs> that's, that's pretty heady um, stuff. But. I might have said some things in the past <laughs> that indicated things that changed. Sure. Because VR is cool. You're feeling, you're feeling posy again? Yeah, real posy about <laughs> everything. I mean, this game looks exceptionally posy, so... Um, Should have brought this to Burning Man. <laughs> I hate that I'm thinking of this just now. Yeah. Think of all the sand you'd have yeah, to dig out of the sand dead Yeah, the sand in my kid. VR. They've been having, there's a, there's a Vive camp at Burning Man the last two oh, years. Well, People man. do drugs and mm. go and tilt brush some. What could go wrong? Yeah, no one would ever freak out and... Nope, nope, that's not it. Shit. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. 
I think that's it. No, yep. that's totally no. not it. Nope. That's not top it. Top of the match. Not it. Oh, no. oh, man. It totally looked like it did. Focus, Jeff. Oh, Become let's... one with the go. cluster. I want to see level three. Okay, so... That's not supposed to happen. There you go. Standard video game preview question, but any other like modes that unlock later on? Any kind of no tweaks on the formula? No, it's kind of just nothing. Purity of focus. It's it has a single mode. Yeah, you hit X, it goes. That's it. All right. The point of it from I the get go, we that. wanted to make like a leaderboard, mm -hmm. like a score war okay. game. Okay. Yeah. And the best way to do that is to have a single mode because you want you want the one level playing field for mm -hmm. everybody. Sure. You want Geometry Wars yes. 1, not Geometry yes. Wars 2. Yes, finally. You don't want to split your user base into six different modes. Yes. You want all your friends playing the exact same game. Geometry Wars There's 1. no difficulty levels. It's all yep. still, one monolithic piece of game design. Still the best Geometry Wars. It's not the best game. <laughs> so it, here, yeah, it, they won't show because we're not online, but normally uh, when you go back to the menu, the side panels are your friend scores okay. and the world scores and then your personal scores. It's all about it's very leaderboards. leaderboards. Yeah. Very score driven, okay, cool. All right, Jeff, okay. you're almost there. You can do it. You've got your time warp. That looks, uh, hyper that focus. Looks, that looks good. I keep That's using good. old terms that we've discontinued. It's an exclusive behind the scene look. Oh boy. Oh, okay. I think you have. Oh, oh. Other way. Well, yep. that's a really unique shape. The the weirder the shape is, it looks the like easier a... it is. The more okay. distinct, yeah. like when you have weird little crooked like fingers like that. I, think I see a camel in there. Yeah, there's a lot of that. People always see a, stuff. Real like Rorschach test mm -hmm. kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Oh, there, wait. No, no. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh wow. Shit, I still got to do it though. Oh, that's uh -huh. cool. That's it. Yep. There you go. Wow, that's a cool effect. Big ass fucking there. That's it. Always uh, good to have a hyper focus in no, the chamber. No, no, bail you out. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Degree? Oh, if you rotated it. Yeah, you had to. The, if I'd rotated like, it, okay. it. Yeah, you, That's you just, fantastic. You should have, would, you should okay, have pressed the button. It, if you okay. spun it twice on the Y axis, you would have had it. That's more specific. Yes. We were almost there. Yeah, yeah. sometimes they're almost symmetrical, yeah. but not quite. Yeah. Yeah. And it's tricky to like think of like flipping it inverted. Do the blocks get added randomly, or is there some kind of. Does the algorithm try to set up. It's completely random. Situations. Okay. <sighs> This game seems very cool. Well, thank you. I want to play more of it. You'll be able to play it on October 13th, oh, man. Shoemaker. Whoa. I don't even have to ask. Salesman, <laughs> Phil Fish. Have, uh -huh. have you been through media training? No. Or you just got You know I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Super Hypercube, mm -hmm. launching with Launch the VR. Uh, Get it. I don't know if you could talk about this or not. Have you guys entertained other VR platform ideas, or is this a... Yeah, we're, we're definitely looking into it. Okay. okay. Uh, so, we're, so we're focusing on PSVR. Like, this was built from scratch yeah. for PSVR. Okay. So first on um, PSVR, but, but yeah. not ruling out We'll get stuff. there eventually. Okay, great. But this was made specifically for the capabilities of the PSVR. Got it. It's not a room scale game. It's a, it's a PSVR game. You can play it sitting yeah. down. Yeah, you can exactly. play it sitting down, you can play it standing up. Yes. It works both ways. Excellent, excellent. VR happened, it's yeah, here. Yeah, it's here, finally, yeah. for real. Thanks for uh, stopping by, man. Thank you for having me. Good to see you.